Hi, my name is Olivia Lee. I am 19 years old. Um, I'm from Montana and I'm very excited to start with this industry. Cool, perfect. Have a seat. Okay. We're excited to have you. Yay! All right, so 19, huh? Uh huh. Beautiful age. I love it. I had a great time when I was 19. Um, and you're from Montana? Uh huh. Okay, cool. Uh, Tell me just a little bit about yourself, growing up in Montana, all that kind of stuff. I um, love it. Lots of trees. It's beautiful. I'm around a lot of nature, which I really like. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel balanced. Um, there's lots to do there. Definitely outdoors. I do lots of rock climbing, and fishing, and hiking. Very great. active. Lots of fun stuff. Great, great. Um, now, being in Montana, did you ever have any chance to do any kind of modeling like that before? It's very, very small. There's not lots of, there's not any cities there really, nothing. I live in a smaller town, so no. Okay. How big was the high school? Uh, very tiny. Really? Oh my gosh, there's not a lot of people. Maybe around like 600 throughout the whole, the whole school. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty small. Very small. <laughs> Did you guys have like sports teams or anything like that? Um, yeah. I cheerleaded a little bit. Really? Okay. Um, did some volleyball just to stay active too. And I love, I love doing things like that. Nice, nice. What, uh, how long did you do cheerleading and volleyball for? Um, I did volleyball for a year, just testing out, and I just do it kind of more as a hobby, not really a sport. Okay. Um, cheerleading I did for two years. I was on JV, okay. and then I was captain on varsity. So. Nice, nice. A big fun. step up, huh? Yeah, it was. Cool. Did you enjoy it? I did. I love it. got very flexible, which is really nice. Lots of workouts, and the competitions were cool. I like, I like doing those. The outfits were really fun and just get dolled up and throwing yourself around. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, did you guys go to like, the traveling, all the companies? A little bit. Not so much. More of just like state, but then again, Montana, it's very, you know, it's very small. So. Sure, sure. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. A lot of people, you know, like I said, at everything you say during this interview, the directors, the producers, they're, they're hanging on on the words, you know, and they hear, oh, cheerleader, cool, you know, flexible, cool, that's great, you know. So those kinds of things you're already picking up on to notice. Hey, I can use this girl in some movies, you know, and that's that's exactly what we're going for. So that's good. Um, so, uh, what made you feel like you wanted to get into this business? Um, I was struggling a little bit back home. It's just me and my sister, and um, don't have lots of money. I'm not really making it, just paycheck to paycheck. So, something I enjoy, and I'm, I find myself to be a sexual person. I didn't really find that out till this last year. I wasn't really doing a whole lot until I got a boyfriend and stuff, and. I really found that I like doing those little things and pleasing the man. It's one of my favorite things to do. So cool. Cool. how I found this is I was looking on Craigslist. I wasn't sure. I was just looking for tiny little gigs. I didn't mm -hmm. even really have the whole porn industry in my mindset until uh, I emailed someone for a photo shoot and I found it was more adult filming. So it took me a little bit to think about it, think if that's something I would want to do and the money seemed nice. So yeah. That's usually like a deciding factor is like, wow, that much money I can make, you know, and that's exactly how much money you can make. So, yeah, that's, that's great. Um, you say you weren't really thinking about porno before. Did you watch porno before? Um, not until recently. I didn't actually even start really playing with myself to this last year. Uh, I didn't feel really comfortable with it. It's not something I was really even like taught growing up, like nothing. I could just never really heard about it. Um, mm -hmm. I was a little more discreet, smaller family. So, um, when I did start watching porn, I, you know, I ventured down there with myself and started to find out that yeah, I do like watching porn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, when you watch porn, what kind of porn are you watching? Um, all sorts. I really like girl on girl too. Okay. That one's just it's sexy, it's sure, fun. Sure. So. Now, do you are you attracted to girls yourself? Yeah. Okay. Either or. Dated a girl, been with a girl before? Never dated a girl, but I've been with a girl. Okay. Full on sex and everything like that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Um, now, when you say you started playing with yourself. Uh, you're masturbating, obviously. Okay. Um, how often are you doing that? Just a, mm, depending on, you know, I'd say on average a couple of times a week. Okay. Okay. And you say you like sex, you enjoy sex? Mm -hmm. Alright, what kind of things are you enjoying about sex? Um, I just really, like I was saying before, I really like pleasing my man. And so, um, I'll do whatever they want. I like to be a little submissive, so if they want me to do something, I'll do it. Really, no arguing with that. Okay. Um, I found that that really turns me on too. Is just kind of being their little toy, 
Um, great, so. great. That is a beautiful thing. Okay. Um, now, if if a director wanted to put you in a movie where you were like the dominant character, would you a little flip it and play that as well? Yeah. Okay. I'm great. open to that one. Maybe. Great. Have you have you like been in both roles sexually or? No, not really. Like, there's times I've taken control, but nothing where too excessive is where I'm the dominant person. Okay. Usually it's the other way around. But totally submissive, you're totally fine with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great, great. Definitely. Um, now, what what kind of thing, when, now, everybody has different interpretations, you know, when you say submissive, what are you, in, what are you talking about? Um, take, they take full control, they're flipping me around, um, they're spanking me and talking really dirty to me, they can, you know, beat me up a little bit. Okay. Um, I really like that, it turns me on a lot, I get really wet when that happens, so. Okay. Um, to me, I'm just, I'll do whatever they say, they tell me to do it. I'm, on my knees, you know, so. Got it, got it, that's wonderful, wonderful. Um, okay, um, now before you got in this business, or before you thought about doing this business, um, how many guys have you been? Um, around four. Okay, four. all right, boyfriends, yeah. I'm gonna assume, okay, good, good. Um, and when you were dating somebody, how often were you having sex with them? Every day, a couple times a day, if we weren't working or at school or anything. Okay, yeah. cool. Ever have those days where it's just we're just having sex today? That's what's happening. Yeah. Oh That's yeah. Great. We have sex all day. So okay. That's... Cool. Cool. And you're the guys you had dated have always been like dominant type of guys. Yeah. Oh yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, that's great. But the time when you first thought of the idea of doing this, you know, how much time did it take to convince yourself I can do this? Um, about two months actually. Okay. Um. There were some things that were required of me to get done before I flew out here, and I was really putting it off. Mm -hmm. um, to me, it was almost like it was unreal. It was I had this like, you know, this opportunity to make so much money, but I was I didn't technically believe it. So I was really pushing everything off that I had to do. But I kept telling, you know, emailing you guys back and forth, like, hey, I'm like, I want to do this, you know. Mm -hmm. But it really it took me a little while to like prepare myself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. Was there a, sh a second when you were at the airport and you're like, I'm not going to get on this plane? You know what? No, not really. Because I, I was doing so much preparing for myself. Um, when I woke up the next morning, I felt a little more ready. I was, for sure, I had butterflies because I didn't know anyone down here. I didn't know what to expect at all. Mm -hmm. Literally just no idea. So I was more nervous about that on the end. But everyone seemed so professional. That's why I didn't really get scared. Yeah, I mean, everything that we do is, is you know, top notch. You know, we don't... We don't I can tell. Kind of corners that going to be. We're going to every every company that you shoot for is going to do their best to make you look beautiful, you know, and and put you in a positive light, you know. So don't even have to worry about any of that. You know, you got a beautiful face. I wouldn't worry about anything. So you know, just put yourself at ease. Just relax everywhere you go. You're going to be surprised. Everybody's going to be nice, you know. And at the end of the day, you're like, wow, I didn't expect this. Or I didn't expect that. But in the end, everybody's nice. So far, I've noticed that. Okay, great, great. Um, any questions for me now that you're here and it's actually happening? Is that getting back today? Yeah, today, okay. today we're going to, yeah. you know, um, get you naked. Okay, I got to get some pictures of you naked, and okay. then we just got to show a little bit of a few samples of what you can do on camera. Okay. You know, so these directors know, hey, if I book Olivia Lee, this is. The performance that I should be expecting, okay. you know, and then they can kind of tweak your performance as they need you for their own movies. You know, okay. the biggest thing to remember is you're an actress, okay, and a model. You're gonna model for the pictures, and then you have to act for the camera, you know. So if you keep just keep those in mind, you know, you'll have like who you are at, in your at your core, but you know, at the same time, you need to display on camera what the director needs you to display, you know. I need you to be a shy, sweet schoolgirl today. I need you to be the the uh, sex crazed girl over here that can't get enough. You know that, and and you gotta just kind of find that realm in yourself and say, okay, I know how to act this way, I know how to act that way. All right. So, without further ado, it is time for you to get naked. Okay. okay. So go ahead and take off jewelry you have. Um, shoes can go, and we'll get a good look at you. So.